Looking to take your financial knowledge to the next level? You're in the right place. Welcome to Ask Ralph. Offering accounting, technical, and financial advice. Whether you're looking to save taxes or improve your business, he's got you covered. Here's your host of Ask Ralph, Ralph Eastup Jr. Hello and welcome back to the Ask Ralph Show. I am so happy you decided to join us today. We do this radio show every week. We hope to give you a great deal of information. And if you missed the radio show, we also put this into a podcast. You can get those podcasts at wherever you normally get your podcasts. Could be Apple iTunes or the Google Play Store, Libsyn, or any of the other ones. I'm not all familiar with them, but it's called the Ask Ralph Podcast. Well, my name is Ralph Estep Jr. I'm an accountant. I have a small practice in Middletown, Delaware. And it's that time of year again, folks. It's time to get taxes done. And, of course, that's one of the big parts of our practice. You know, but I get a lot of questions when I'm out in the community. You know, why should I hire a tax preparer? It's a very common question. You know, a lot of people feel like they can do this on their own. And the truth is, if your taxes are not in any way complicated, like, for example, if all you've got is a single W-2 form, then you most likely are better off going online or buying some tax software and doing the tax return yourself. But the truth of the matter is most people's taxes aren't that simple. So if they are complicated, let's say you have self-employment, or maybe you have enough to itemize, maybe you bought a new home or something like that, or you've made a a lot of charitable contributions or something unusual happened, maybe you sold some stock. This is an area where you might want to consider hiring a tax preparer. Now, there's a few reasons why I say that now as compared to in previous years. And, And the biggest one is the tax code is even more confusing than ever now because of this huge 2018 tax overhaul. And let me be blunt with you. People like myself, this is our life. This is what we do. And even right now, we are struggling to interpret some of the changes that have been put together in the tax code. In fact, I mentioned this in I think it was last week's show or previous shows that the IRS hasn't even developed all of the regulations related to all of this. So you think about it. If this is what I do for a living and I'm struggling to interpret some of this, can you imagine if you're just the average income earner that you don't even have the ability to go through and have the resources that we have to help? I think that's a huge thing. And so you're going to benefit from the insights of somebody like myself who's, this is my job every day. This is what I do. I deal with tax situations. You know, yesterday I met with clients that may have a a specific tax situation, you know, and it may require me to go do research. This is what I do. So you're going to find that when you have a situation where tax code has become more confusing than ever, it's a great time to consider hiring somebody like myself. And if you're interested in hiring us, you can go right to our website. That's Ask Ralph. That's A-S-K-R-A-L-P-H dot com. And just click on schedule now and we can do it. Or you can give us a call, 302-659-6560. Now, what's the number, number two or second reason? You might save more money. You know, I have a lot of clients that come in and they said, well, you know, I've always done my own taxes and I always thought like I had a good grasp on this, but you know, I thought I'd come in and, and, and sit down with somebody and say, is there something I'm missing? And I always say to them, well, that's a great idea. And, you know, and I'm blunt with them. Sometimes there is nothing else to it. It may be very simple and they might come in one year and I say to them, look, here's, you've got a very simple tax situation. Unless something drastically changes, you know, you're probably okay to do it yourself. But do you really know as much as a tax professional who prepares returns for a living? You don't. I mean, this is what I do. The host, I know a host of tax credits and deductions. And think about this, you know, and people will say, well, you know, I got tax software and it asks me all the questions that I need to answer. I will tell you from experience, tax software is not always the best answer. I have seen circumstances where tax software has talked someone into taking a deduction that they didn't deserve or doubling up on deduction. I mean, I have had situations that have been outrageous. I had a client a couple of years ago where they used tax software and they ended up getting like an $8,000 refund. Well, when they came in and met with me, I looked at the return. It was totally wrong. It was so wrong that they ended up owing the IRS $8,000. So not only did they get the money back that they shouldn't have gotten, but now they owed even more. So you're talking about a huge tax situation that could have been totally avoided. That's because an actual human who specifically evaluating your taxes is probably better suited to help you than most these little software programs. Because you have to have some knowledge, even know where to put the stuff. I mean, they can ask all the questions in the world. But if you've got something that's a little bit more complicated or something you don't really understand, that's probably a good time to talk to a tax repair. Now, the final thing, and I think this really needs to be spoken a lot 
more. And the next session we're actually going to talk about audit red flags is it. I'm here to help you in the event that you get audited. Not just me. I'm talking about anybody that's a professional licensed accountant or tax preparer, CPA, PA, all those things. We're here to help you in the event of an audit. And, you know, I would be intellectually dishonest if I didn't tell you that IRS audits are pretty rare. Because they are. Statistics show that less than 1% of tax returns are audited each year. And if you're a middle income earner, your chances of having your taxes further examined are even lower. This comes from the Motley Fool. That's a um, online website and I get a lot of information from them, but that's a statistic they show. So less than 1% of tax returns are audited each year. And if you're a middle earner, your chance of having your taxes in are even lower. But see, the thing is having somebody that did your taxes, who understands your taxes, they are going to most likely be available to provide support should you end up needing to defend your claims to the IRS. And it could be something as simple as, hey, um, a lot of people, I call them the hey, Ralph questions. You know, hey, Ralph, I got this notice. IRS says that I didn't report something. Now, that's not necessarily an audit. And join us in our next session. We talk about red flags. That necess- that's not necessarily an audit, but it still needs to be responded to. And you need to understand what they're asking. You need to understand, you know, what is it that they're after here? You know, it could be as something as simple as, listen, you know, I didn't, I'd forgotten. I had a job there for two days at another place and I had moved. I didn't even get that W-2. And then you file your tax return. Well, the IRS got copies of all the W-2s, you know, they're, they're reporting things from your employers and they're going to match those up. And when they don't match up, you're going to get a letter in the mail and says, you know, Hey, Mr. Smith, you know, we noticed that you prepared your tax return. You showed all your income except for this one. Now, if you did it yourself, you might think, oh, boy, I don't know what I need to do. I, you know, what, what do I do about going? A lot of people will try to file an amended return, which is really it is not even appropriate in that case. It could be as simple as saying, yep, let me plug this W-2 in and let's see if it makes sense that they, they say I owe them this. But then, you know, they may have charged you a penalty or something like that. And, you know, if you're working with somebody that's a professional like myself, we may have some ideas of how to, you know, get that penalty waived or get the interest waived or something like that. Or, you know, it could be something as simple as you really don't owe the tax. I mean, I've, I've seen a ton of notices come from the IRS. Um, the most common example is when someone, you know, buys or sells stock, you know, and the IRS didn't get the, um, the information reported about what the, the, the client actually paid for the stock in the beginning. So real simple example, let's say you sell 10,000 shares of, or $10,000 worth of Apple stock, which is pick them out of a hat. The IRS, now this has changed a lot with the, the brokers needing to record, you know, needing to report the, the information of what is called your basis or your value in it. You know, the IRS would only see ten thousand dollars in stock sale, but they may not they may not know that you paid, you know, eleven thousand dollars for that stock. And so they're gonna throw you this notice that says you owe them ten thousand dollars. And you're gonna panic. Or excuse me, they're gonna throw you a notice saying that you owe them tax on ten thousand dollars, maybe three thousand, four thousand dollars, and you're gonna panic and you go, Oh my god, what is this? But the the truth is is a really simple example. And in fact, in this particular case we talked about, maybe you forgot to tell me about that, but you end up you got a tax refund coming because you didn't report that. So I hope this was helpful. You know, consider hiring a tax repair. If you're interested in using us, go to askralph.com and click on schedule now. You've been listening to Ask Ralph, brought to you by Sazio Accounting Plus. Please subscribe to and write our podcast on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts and leave us a rating and review. Our podcast is produced by Carolyn Peters. Thank you for listening and be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Ask Ralph Media. You can also hear me each week on 1450 WILM and on 1410 WDOV in Delaware and on the iHeartRadio app. Submit your questions or ideas for future shows by sending an email to Ask Ralph at askrelf.com. The information contained in this episode of Ask Ralph is based on data available as of the date of its release. Sagio Accounting Plus and Ask Ralph Media Inc. is under no obligation to update this content if changes occur. Applying this information to your specific situation requires careful consideration of all facts and circumstances, and any information provided is not to be considered as financial, tax, or legal advice. Please consult your tax advisor or attorney before acting on any material covered.